Hey guys, I'm back. Spring is here and summer is right around the corner. So I wanted to do these DIY travel print shorts for you guys. So let's get started. The things you will need, some music, get your groove on, fabric paint and some brushes. You can use makeup brushes, bleach, a bucket or a bowl to dip the shorts in, a ruler so it can guide you, a hanger to hang up the shorts to dry, a cup of water, and a permanent marker. Time to bleach these babies. Okay, so I'm gonna bleach all the way up to the pocket. You could do it however you want. You could do spots, you could do the whole thing, or you could do an outline or not bleach them at all. Now, I put an elastic on the shorts just to guide me so I know not to go above it and bleach that because I want that to be uh, darker than the bottom. Now, please, while you're bleaching these shorts, Make sure you do it with an open window or even do it outside because I almost killed myself from inhaling this bleach. I had the whole house smell like bleach and me and my husband basically got high off of bleach. Now it's time to wash them and let them dry. Make sure you wash them because you want to get that yellow tint out of it and you don't want them to smell like bleach. Now you can leave them like this, cause I mean, they look pretty cool already. Or you can do the travel print. Now I practiced uh, painting at first, these V's that you're gonna do. Now I took my permanent marker and my ruler and I drew two lines in each section that I did the designs because this is gonna guide me. And on the first line above it, I'm gonna paint some upside down V's. I didn't use the marker to guide me for this cause this is pretty easy. I mean, I stink at painting, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> But if you do need to use the marker to guide you or the ruler, you can draw it with the permanent marker first and paint over it as a guide. Now I turn the short sideways and now I'm gonna begin making V's, upside down V's again. And I took the permanent marker and every V that I did, I put a dot just in the middle of it. I mean, it's not perfect, but it still was a guide, so I know where to put the next one, so it won't be lopsided. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be perfect, because since it's tribal print, you can't really tell anyway, because there's so much going on. Now, if you wanna be a little bit more creative, you don't have to only do upside down Vs. You can make full triangles and fill them in and make them look even more bold. You could do any design you want. This is just the one that I chose. So this is how they should look and now I'm going to start with the next section. So like I did in the beginning, going back to getting my ruler and my permanent marker and making this straight line, you're going to paint over that line just to seal it in. Make sure every permanent marker mark that you make, you paint over it because you don't want it to leak when you wash it. Now this next design was a little more challenging for me, so I took out my handy dandy permanent marker. But if you're a thug like that and you got skills, then you can freehand this. So down the whole bottom of the shorts, I did that pattern and I drew it with the permanent marker and now I'm just going over it with the black fabric paint. I also put little dots on the bottom and I painted over that as well to seal the permanent marker in. Now this is optional. You can either stop right here or get a little more creative. I'm gonna paint the belt loops because I just think it looks a little more cool. I wanna fully transform these shorts. 
I'm also gonna paint the outline of the pockets and this should be easy because there's already stitching there to guide you so just paint inside of it. And I painted the middle, the little pocket, and I painted the right side of the booty pocket. And now you're all done and you got yourself some cool DIY travel shorts. And guess what? Didn't cost nada. Now you can do any colors, any design. Go crazy with this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making it for you guys. And I have so many more ideas for you guys. So if you want to see more, please let me know. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. And oh yeah, hashtag it's my rare on Instagram so I can see yours if you make them. Because I want to see it because I know my subbies be making some cool stuff. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.